everyone. Today is the 10th of August. Next week the competition will start. Let's have a look if all the teams are ready. So I'm, st I'm standing here with Fernando Ribeiro, one of the organizers of this beautiful event. Could you tell us briefly about your role in this organization? Right, I, I was invited to be on the organization. Um, the idea was to bring European teams into this competition uh, because the idea is to move to more than two or three players. So this is a five by five. Normally on humanoids, uh, for example, we play on RoboCup with up to three. One is the goalkeeper and the other two, they both have the same software. It's like this, all robots do the same thing, which means if they use the same technique uh, on this competition five, it's like having eight robots going against the ball. And that's not, uh, in fact, there's no strategy. So the idea is to make it different. So teams like Tech United, the LAR at the Ming University, etc., they, ha they have experience on middle size. So they have strategy and the idea is to mix uh, the MSL, the standard platform and also the humanoids in order to have a proper or a real uh, game with strategy on the humanoid side. So I'm an organization not just to bring teams from Europe into here, but also to deal with the rules, to deal also with some uh, technical aspects that um, the humanoid leagues are not uh, used to it. And so basically that, that, that was the idea. I accept the challenge. Uh, European teams are doing great and I'm very happy about the results so far. Okay, thank you for this. <laughs> Hello there, could you tell me uh, which team you are and uh, where you are from? Okay, we are Prototype from the high school affiliated to Renmin University of China and uh, we are the first uniting team in the RoboCup. So you are a very uh, new team, when did you start? Yeah, this is our first year to the RoboCup, so we are, we, we are all the freshmen for the RoboCup, so we have to learn a lot of stuff to prepare for this contest. Yeah, what are specifically you, the things you learned in the past few weeks uh, and that you ran into? Okay, we started this program uh, two months ago uh, and so because we didn't have any experience about the humanoid and uh, we started all this, all of things based on the RoboCup demo uh, produced by the uh, booster and then just we studied something like localization as well as like how to enable the robots to dribble and especially in the decision making part I think that's the part that we put most efforts into. Okay, so uh, next week is going to be the competition. Um, do you feel that you're ready for the competition? Yes, like mentally we are ready for the competition. Now, physically we are not ready for the competition because uh, we uh, because uh, like uh, we are working 24 per se uh, 724 and uh, we are a little bit exhausted. Yeah, but I think we are already prepared and uh, we can get a good. Might, we might good get a good position like uh, in the competition. Yeah. Okay, then I, I guess I'll leave you to your uh, work then, because uh, I guess it's necessary. So, yeah. Right? Yes, yes. Oh, good luck. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So I'm standing here with Dutch Now team from the Netherlands. Um, next week is going to be the big week and the competitions will start. Do you feel ready for it? 
Um, well, ready as can be. Um, yeah, we. I think we're we're kind of confident in what we've been doing. Um, like the amount of prep we we've had, um, or we we've been able to have. It's not that much, but um, I think we've done some great stuff. Uh, we're happy to show everyone um, how we can play. So in this limited time that you had, were you uh, able to add some really new stuff that is like typical Dutch Now team? Um, well, uh, I think we've brought along uh, a lot of our well cool um, code from our old robots. So that includes um, some dribbling stuff, uh, but also we want to do some passing. Um, and yeah, I think... I think we we are ready and uh, we'll be able to do great. So one more day of testing and it should all be uh, it should all be perfect, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, it will be great. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wish you good luck and I hope to see uh, many cool games from you. Yes, thank you. Thank you.